Hi, I'm Bob Miller with ColorHQ.com and uh, we wanted to actually introduce you to one of the latest light booths on the market. This is the new Use Normlic LED light booth. And one of the advantages of this booth is that it has a very wide gamut. And unlike many of the booths in the market where you have single light sources, uh, this booth actually can adapt to multiple light sources uh, using the same individual LEDs that are located in the booth. Uh, we're going to give you some examples of that right now. So I'm going to ask uh, our cameraman here to zoom in on the media that we currently have in the booth. We have an ultra bright white uh, premium satin that we've loaded into the booth and on top of that we have a white balance card. The premium bright white satin has uh, UV and the white balance card does not. Uh, right now the booth is in D50 mode showing a 5000K light source and um, and it is currently currently we have UV active in this booth. I'm going to show you some of the things that this booth can do right now. Um, this is the D50 with UV. This is the D50 without UV. I'm going to go back and forth a couple of times. With UV. Without UV. One more time. With UV. And finally, without UV. The reason I'm showing this is this is actually the same light source, 5000K, and all we're doing is removing the UV from the light source. And hopefully you're seeing the difference between the two medias here. Um, with the white balance card, that does not have any UV in it, uh, or very little UV in it. And the premium bright has a great deal of UV. So you should be seeing quite a difference in the effect of UV on brightened papers the paper that is beneath the white balance card. I'm going to do it one last time and then we're going to move on. So again, this is the D50 with UV. And if you look at the paper underneath the white balance card, you should see a change when I do this. This is the D50 without UV. So that's just one reason why we uh, express to all of our customers how critical the lighting environment is uh, when they're choosing their media, and choosing the substrates that they're going to be using. Here's an example where I've actually zoomed in uh, to the gamut of the light booth. And we're going to show you a quick example of the 30-second timer uh, transitioning between two light sources. First, I click on 30 seconds. Right now, I'm on D50. So I'm going to choose 3500 as the second light source. As soon as I do this, you're going to see a, the X appear as the target or destination, and you're going to see a dot that's going to start moving to, toward that X. Here we go. And so now, as you can see, I've got the crosshairs, and I've got the dot moving toward the crosshairs, so it's transitioning over to 3500. We're going to zoom out now. and you'll be able to see that the booth will be slowly changing over this 30 second period. It's actually very hard to see. 30 seconds is about the longest that you'd ever want to go. But if you wanted to, for example, put a product inside here and see the effects of how light would change uh, from say noon uh, to late afternoon sun and how, what impact that would have on a product, you could actually do that over a 30 second span. There are options to take the, the timing up to 120 seconds, but your eyes adjust so quickly that it's really very hard uh, to work within that 120 second time frame. But 30 seconds, you can do immediate transitions, you can do 30 second trans, uh, transitions, you can do 60 second transitions, or the 120 second transitions. So.
Now we're going to test uh, the LED color viewing light booth uh, to see how accurate it is. Uh, using the i1 device, we're going to, and the i1 share software, we're going to take a measurement uh, of the light and see what the color temperature is. Uh, currently, after taking that measurement, we're seeing that the color temperature is 5005K. So right at about D50. Uh, the luminance uh, is at 2283. Um, so that's really just what you want to see in this particular light booth. Um, we've had similar results as we've gone through testing D65 and various other uh, points that the light booth can hit. Um, in most cases, we find it to be extremely accurate. Additionally, one other thing that you can do with this is if you have a device like the i1 or other devices to take uh, ambient light measurements you can actually go into a room and quickly measure the light source uh, using for example i1 share and then you can emulate that light source inside the booth. Uh, I actually took the measurement of the light that we have in this room uh, and I am going to emulate it right now. I've saved it within the uh, software and so that would be a simulation of the light that we currently are displaying inside the room that we're in. So um, this is extremely accurate. It allows you to go from place to place, get various light sources and emulate those light sources in here uh, to show the effect of light on whatever products or images uh, you're going to be displaying.